Beaters, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com. I am so excited to be bringing you another finished jewelry update today. For those of you who are new to my channel, I want to give you a warm welcome. I am so glad to have you. I like to do these finished jewelry updates every so often to show you guys what I've been up to and hopefully give you some ideas and inspiration. I not only like to do bead unboxings for all the monthly subscriptions that I do, but I like to also come back and show you some of the pieces that I've made and I like to talk about them and I like to give you some more details on my thought and design process as well as where the materials came from. Feel free to skip ahead through the different items that I'm sharing with you, but I know most of you love to hear it. You're going to see a lot of things today from this past month's or I guess February's bargain bead box subscription. By the way, all the links to the various subscriptions I recommend are down below, so check that out. But a lot of these things, first of all, you're going to be seeing from the Bargain Bead Box subscription. So I'm going to try to do those things first, and then I'm going to show you a few additional pieces that I've made this week as well. So you may notice that some of these beads, namely these silver ones right here, and these rondelles and these little spacers came in the February Bargain Bead Box subscription box. I will try to link that video up in the corner if you have not seen that unboxing. That way you can take a look at what they sent and also find out a little bit more about that subscription. But uh, these were included. I wanted to challenge myself to try to see, you know, all the things that I could come up with using the beads from the box, not exclusively from the box, but mixing those things with beads I had in my own stash. I had also featured this pendant recently on one of my beadboxbargains.com hauls. That's another place that I love to shop for jewelry making supplies. It's the sister site of the Bargain Bead Box subscription, but I had ordered a couple of these pendants and these I believe were called Sea Sediment Jasper and then they have this beautiful metallic kind of sparkly silver top on them. Lots of pretty aquas and tans and things like that and I thought they went really well with these agate beads because these agate beads had some of the same tones of turquoise and aqua and even the tan in them as well. So I combined these with the pendant and I'm really happy with it and picked up some of the silver and some of the spacers going up the necklace. And then instead of attaching it to a chain like I do a lot, I actually used these Toho 150 seed beads in the nickel color. These are a color I had just gotten from EurekaCrystalBeads.com. I like shopping on their site for seed beads because they have some really great prices. And I thought that that looked really nice on the back just as an alternate to doing the chain. And then I just made some quick earrings to go with these. So here's another look at that necklace some earrings and then as you can see on the back there is a lobster clasp and then I added an extender chain that is stainless steel with a little rondelle crystal bead on the end of that to give it a nice little detail. So next I wanted to share with you a lariat necklace that I made. I actually made it with some suede or actually faux suede cord that I'd gotten from bbcraft.com. They're another online jewelry craft supply type store that I like to shop at and I feature them a lot in my videos but I used these gorgeous Picasso Jasper pendants that they sent us in the box as well as some of these silver connectors and then I added some of these large hole silver beads that I had from my stash and I added some of those kind of going up the suede cord. I really like this necklace on. It's kind of hard to show you how it looks here on camera but if you can kind of picture this part hanging down low on the chest and then you have the suede cord going around your neck once and then hanging down and just doing a little crisscross part right above where the beads hang down. It was really, really cute. I actually wore this about a week ago when I had gone out somewhere and it's kind of fun because these beads that go up the suede cord they move around so you can actually shift them around if you want to. And then I made a quick pair of earrings with the same connectors that coordinate and some more of the Picasso Jasper. 
and these silver beads from the box as well. So I have another necklace to show you with the Picasso Jasper. They had sent three pendants. One of them was larger and I made another necklace out of that with also the same kind of faux suede cord. So that one is right here and I actually was practicing with my wire wrapping and I decided to do a little wire wrapping on it. So I didn't follow a tutorial or anything on this. If I did, I would definitely let you know. I spent a lot of time and a lot of wire <laughs> trying to come up with something on this because I'm really trying to practice with wire and I'm actually pretty happy with how it came out. I really like how part of the wire is twisted and part of it is straight and just kind of like the little organic loops here at the bottom and it feels really nice in the hand. It's very solid. It doesn't feel like it's going to slip out or anything like that and I thought this color wire really looks nice with the tones that are coming out in the Picasso Jasper pendant and I like how it looks with this color of suede cord. So then on the back of course just a lobster clasp and then I used some of those little cord ends that I'd gotten recently on bbcraft.com and then a little extender chain and here is what it looks like on the display and by the way if I don't have anything listed yet that you're seeing today on my website definitely reach out to me via email or something like that and uh, let me know if there's anything you're interested in because pretty Pretty much everything that I do show you is for sale. It's just that sometimes I don't get them up on my website in time for the videos to come out. And if there's anything you want me to customize, lengthen, shorten, make earrings to go with, whatnot, definitely let me know. I have customers do that all the time and I'm always happy to work with you on any of those things. And it's always fun to customize something for you. So there's a closer look at that. I have another Picasso Jasper piece that I want to show you and that is this one right here. So you may remember they sent a couple of strands of Picasso Jasper in the round shape beads and then I had this pendant in my stash also from the Beadbox Bargains website. They had sent that as a little freebie with one of my orders in the past few months. They always tend to add a little freebie. I thought that was a really nice freebie and I thought that the antique brass really looked nice with all this Picasso Jasper. Really looks great with all the tones of red and green and tan and brown and I also added some of those crystal rondelles that we had gotten in the box as well and I included some of these antique brass spacers. I really like these a lot. I had gotten these in a bead crate and then I had repurchased some more because I kept using them and then I just added some antique brass chain on the back and embellished part of the chain with a couple more of these little rondelles on the back and then an extender chain with the embellishment on the end of that. So I love the combination of all these things, the metal with the Picasso Jasper. Here is a look at the little earrings that I made and they kind of feature those same connectors as I used in the necklace. The final thing that I did with the Picasso Jasper is I made a little set of stretch bracelets because sometimes it's just fun to be able to pop these on. They're quick and easy. So here is a look at these. I just used some of these black stone beads in the six millimeter size that I'd gotten also from bbcraft.com with the six millimeter Picasso Jasper that came in the box. And then these little charms, I believe, came in a previous bargain bead box, I think over the fall, and I thought they were really cute. It's always fun to add the little charms. So I just played with the black and the tones of Jasper, and they're super easy to get on and off, and you can wear them separately or together. Next, I did a little bit of bead weaving, and this is a netted type bracelet, just using different tones of seed beads in black, and this is kind of a bronze color and then they had sent us a strand of these black kind of almost a hematite like bicone strand. I had made another netted bracelet before about a month ago that I had showed on my channel. I haven't had a chance to put that tutorial together yet but I will. This is just another variation that I came up with on the netting. Netting tutorials have been done before by many people so I don't want to reinvent the wheel or anything 
but I will say that I hadn't really seen it done for the thinner version. I've seen it done for like a lot thicker, which is nice too, but sometimes it's nice to do the thinner ones if you don't want to wear a really thick bracelet. Now with this one, I did add these little embellishments to either side so it does look a lot thicker than it normally would be, but I would like to do at some point a tutorial on ones that are just three going across diagonally like that. So I'm really happy with how this came out. I think I'm just going to wear it for the rest of the video because it actually feels kind of nice and light on the wrist and it makes me feel kind of fancy. All right so next thing I want to show you is another this is a nice long necklace kind of featuring a lot of things from the February bargain bead box. I use these nice black cut crystal beads. I used more of their connectors. I actually used a toggle clasp down here as a kind of feature on this pendant which I thought was a really kind of unique way to use it. So technically this is one of the toggle clasps that they sent but it was just so nice looking. I wanted to kind of show it off. So I thought that was really cool. And then the other thing I did with it was I actually added some chain to the bottom of the square that can hang down along with some more of those bicone beads to give it kind of the look of a tassel. So like I said, this is a longer necklace. So I think it will look very nice with the tassel on the end. I think that always is nice when it's a longer length and the tassel kind of hangs down lower on the chest. I've seen a lot of that style over the past few months and this will be really easy to wear because of the black and the silver. Also whipped up a quick pair of earrings using those same toggle clasps as well so I thought these were kind of fun. They kind of remind me of like a little window but they coordinate nicely with the toggle down here at the bottom of the necklace. So another way to use these toggles instead of just using them as clasps you can also use them as connectors or findings as well. Something else I made from the contents of the box were these earrings and I did a tutorial recently showing you how I made these earrings with some leftover like colored tiger tail or beading wire and they're so easy so if you are a newer beater it's probably a great project for you. I also showed a use for these little bead tips or knot covers but these beads came from the box so I just thought I'd show you those real quick. So I just have three more sets to show you. These didn't come from the contents of the box or anything. These are actually some gifts for a close friend of mine and her two teenage daughters who are going to be moving away across the country. I'm so sad. But anyway, I wanted to make them something that they could have that was handmade. So I kind of made these things specifically for them in colors that I know they wear a lot of and that they really like. So these beads right here were some Amazonite beads in different colors of this light kind of seafoam green, as well as some quartz crystals that I'd gotten from the beadboxbargains.com website, and then some Toho seed beads on the back and in between in the nickel color. And so I wanted to make these things super wearable and simple, things that I know that they would like. And then here is a coordinating bracelet that I made to go with the necklace and some more of those Amazonite kind of rondelle shaped beads and some more quartz beads. So I just wanted to share that with you real quick and let me show you the pieces that I made for her girls. So the first daughter, she is about 12 and I know one of her favorite colors is pink. So I made her this necklace and earring set that I hope she loves. I love these cute little check glass hearts that are going up the chain. I thought that was a sweet little detail. And then I used these really unique pink check glass beads. I can't remember if they were from a dollar bead box or from bead crate, but I had three of them and they just went so well with these little pink hearts. So I decided to make these the focal. So I did a pendant where I wire wrapped three of them and added them to some different lengths of chain on the bottom of that for the pendant of the necklace. And then I did the same exact thing to make the pair of earrings to use the three that I had. So I just thought they coordinated really well. And then I just added a little heart detail on the extender chain right there. And then the last piece I have to show you is for her other daughter who is a little older and she wears a ton of like black and mustard yellow and is really into that combination. And I thought it was a great opportunity once again to use some Dalmatian Jasper gemstone beads, which I love. They kind of look like cookie dough. I've said that before. Why does everything remind me of food? Um, and then these beautiful mustard yellow color glass rondelles that I'd gotten from the Beadbox Bargain website. And then here are some three millimeter fire polish beads from the Dollar Beadbox. I also used 
few of those silver spacers I had left over from the February bargain bead box, but I think it came together really nicely, makes a really nice statement. The black and tan and yellow combination, I just am always gonna love, I think, the bright colors with the Dalmatian Jasper. It's just unexpected and really a nice contrast. So this is actually a stretch bracelet. I'm not gonna stretch it because I have a little bit of glue on the knot that is drying at the moment, but I think that is gonna look really cool on the wrist, and I hope she loves that set as well. I know she's gonna have a lot of things that will go with that. So that is what I've been up to this past week or two. I hope you enjoyed seeing some finished pieces. I hope it gave you a little bit of inspiration and enjoyment to see some of these things come together. Let me know down below if you have a favorite item here that I've made and definitely feel free to reach out to me again or check out my website orchidandopal.com if there's anything that you're interested in. I always have free shipping to the U.S. and everything is currently 15% off. I want to thank you guys so much for being with me. I really appreciate Appreciate it. And thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share these with you. I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. And as always, happy beating. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love for you to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos. Check out the information section under the video for links to my social media handles and other helpful info. And feel free to check out my shop at orchidandopal.com. Thanks for watching.